what's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Now if you know me, you are aware that I am a versus debater and talk about fictional universes all the time. As such, I've been quite vocal about said universes in both good and bad ways. And there are certain installments and franchises that my fans know I despise. So I figured why not try to say something nice about them and spread some positivity. Let's go. With how wonky the entire Sonic franchise has been, aside from the recently released Sonic Mania, Sonic has always had very consistently good music. Even the worst of the worst like Sonic 06 or Sonic Spinball have catchy soundtracks that I even hum sometimes. The only Sonic game that comes to mind that didn't have a memorable soundtrack was Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, but we all like to pretend that game doesn't exist, so it doesn't count. This next one's just for Street Fighter V specifically. All the previous games in the series are quite fun. I think we can all agree it's pretty bad how they dumbed down the gameplay or made the characters really expensive, but oh man do they make me want to buy them. Street Fighter waifus, man! You can't put a price on them! Especially the new one, Minette, even though it's basically Zafina from Tekken. No really, they're like the exact same character. As much as Korra butchered the legacy of the original series, it actually had some very creative stuff. For example, that sport they played with their bending powers in the first book. And it actually did have some pretty neat villains compared to the original. In my opinion, Amon is much more intimidating than the one-dimensional grr, take over the world, Fire Lord Ozai. It's very clear the story is just being made up as they go along and the gameplay is easy and repetitive, but oh man is it alluring! Just the very concept of Disney and Final Fantasy is so bizarre that it's magical, something you just can't quite recreate, like Super Smash Bros. Not to mention just like Sonic, the soundtrack. Oh man, the soundtrack. As overplayed, overrated, and overhyped as it is, it's still a very good movie in general. The songs are catchy, the animation's great, and it has some genuinely good humor. It's just not my particular cup of tea. I don't really like it myself, but it doesn't deserve the massive hate it gets simply for being popular. I still haven't seen a single episode of this show. The fanbase itself scared me away from any chances of giving it a shot. But from the little snippets I've seen, the Flash animation is actually pretty good compared to some of the garbage we get with Flash. Um... Uh... Ooh, um, oh, um, um, oh, oh boy, oh no, um, oh, mm -mm. I may need more time to think with these last two. Ugh, get them off my screen. See you guys later, that's enough positivity for today. Ugh, those last two just killed the mood, oh my gosh.